All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Get Money Season Sports Podcast. We're on the Friday episode. I'm just going to go over some picks real quick. Just kind of run down the Sunday games. Maybe I do a Monday game. I'm going to throw in some college games. So let's get it right now, okay? Let's just not hesitate. Let's just get this right now. But I want to definitely say that we've got a huge slate of games this week. I think NFL is going to be the most popping going off this week. Basketball is definitely in full effect. Lakers not looking good. Russell's not looking good. We just did that for right now. But we're definitely going to hit it off with some college games right now. The, mo- the game that I'm really looking for this week has to be that Michigan, Michigan State game. You know, I definitely said it before. I don't know why this is a noon, 11 o'clock game. I have no idea. Fox is still not doing their thing. This is probably the biggest game on Fox, probably besides the Michigan-Ohio State game, if Michigan can win against Michigan State. But the 12 o'clock game, Fox is still fucking up. They're just fucking up. I just, I just can't stand it. I don't know why this is the 12 o'clock game. I don't understand why this isn't some nighttime game down in uh, Michigan State. So I just, I don't know. It just, East Lansing, I don't, I don't know why this is, isn't it. Um, I would have to say right now, I'm liking what Michigan's doing right now. I'm loving the quarterback play of Michigan and everything. But I just think Michigan State got more firepower on defense. I think the running game is better. I have to go with Michigan State. I know, I know I'm trying. I, I believe, like I said, Michigan, I believe Michigan's quarterback play is way better than Michigan State's. But I think Michigan State comes up with it. And for some odd reason, I don't know. I think it's Michigan State because they come in uh, different years and they just, I don't know. They, I mean, they, I don't know if I can call them consistent what they're doing but Michigan State always have these strong years and then next year they just go like yeah whatever it is what it is but I gotta do Michigan State on that okay that's that's what I have to do on that one my next one is at Iowa Wisconsin I love Iowa I've been praising Iowa all this all this time and I I believe the loss against Purdue wasn't really it just Sometimes you just can't really handle the success and everything. It just kind of got to their heads. I think they can just roll over uh, Purdue and everything. I think this is the game they was looking at uh, more than what they was doing Purdue. Problem is, this is in Wisconsin. Hard to win in Wisconsin. I know Wisconsin's having a little down of a year. I wouldn't say too much down of a year. I think if Iowa just goes in there, focuses, okay, boom, they can get it. But I just – I have to go – I have to go with the home crowd. Nah, eh, fuck it. I just go with Iowa. I, I go with Iowa. I, I believe they can do it. They got to pull it off. I think the Purdue, the Purdue uh, loss was a – just a little fluke. Just going like, okay, we're looking ahead of ourselves not really focusing and everything. So I had to say Iowa on that one. Okay. Um, the next one that I have definitely uh, been seeing has definitely been on my radar. <laughs> I think for me, I, uh, I believe for me, this is the game of the week right here. Is that Florida State Clemson game for some reason. I keep looking at that game. Clemson could lose to Florida State at Clemson. I just don't. I just. I don't. I don't. I'm still trying to figure out. What, I'm still trying to figure out what's wrong with Clemson. I think. I really believe it has to be the coaching staff just not getting everybody in their place. But DJ is not looking. Not looking like what I think everybody expected him to look like. I think it's just 
not there. He's overthrowing people. I believe the game last week was really important against Pittsburgh. <laughs> he got benched. Jeez. I don't know. I think Florida's – I, I think all of Clemson – I think Clemson's is kind of, okay, we're done for the year. Let's just, let's just regroup and get better for next year. Florida State doesn't really have none. They, I think Florida State wants this game more than Clemson. I think Clemson's still figuring out themselves, which is crazy. But they're still figuring out themselves. I think Florida State goes in there. They're not going to drag them, but I I think Clemson's going to make the mistakes. Florida State going to win. I don't even know if that's – I guess I call it an upset, but, ooh, it's not looking good for Clemson at all. I just don't – I don't know. I just don't I – man, I just don't like that game at all. Got to talk about Florida, Georgia. Dan Mullen's not doing a good job this year. It's it's terrible. I don't think he's doing a good job in Florida at all. Um, I, I said it before, Emory Jones is not that guy at quarterback for Florida. He's just I – don't, I don't understand why he keeps playing them. I just don't know. He's not that guy. But if Emory Jones did not start, I don't know. No, you know what? I think George is too strong. I think they understand what the goal is. And I just think they, I think they come in there, and I just think they dominate. Florida will score. I think it's going to be close again, and th- people realize it's going to be. But – Georgia, Georgia definitely comes up with that. Um, definitely, definitely comes up with that for this weekend. Ah, oh, we gotta talk about Wake Forest. Wake Forest, dude. Wake Forest got that. Yo, oh, Sam Hartman. Oh man, I don't know why he's not in the uh, the Heisman talks. I just maybe because it's just Wake Forest, but you know they got the quarterback from uh, Pitt in the Heisman talks. I was like, mm, I don't know about that. I read that Sam in the Hogsman talks and um, then did the quarterback a pit. Um, yeah, Wake Forest gets over that one. Not really worried about it at all. I think it's a trap game right here is the Texas Tech Oklahoma game. Oklahoma just did just did perform it last week in Kansas. I don't have no excuses on that. You know, <laughs> once Kansas opened the floodgates, it was like, yo, come on in, free tickets. Whoever's walking the streets, come on in. We got to fill the stadium. We're getting Oklahoma right now. Then Oklahoma just took off. You know, if they wouldn't open the gates, we'd never know. We would have never known. But when they open them gates up and go, hey, we're beating Oklahoma right now. Hey, go on, come on in. Go on, come on in. And it just went down here from there. Ever since they sent that tweet out that, uh, you know, gates one, two, three was open, just walk on in. Oh, it was over with. It was over with. But, Will this be a will this be a trap game against Texas Tech? No, because Texas Tech lost their coach, and I don't even know who their coach is. I think Oklahoma goes. I'm not really. I'm still not keen on that quarterback. I know what he did, but uh, can he? Can he? I mean, they can fit out. They can fit out the season with him, but could they win a title with him? No. Can they win a Rattler? Rattler's already checked out. He's already gone. You know what I'm saying? We'll see him somewhere like in Wyoming or something. Or somewhere, Tennessee, <laughs> Old Miss or something. I don't know where that boy's gonna go. Dang, it's just whew, it's just over with. Let's go with some uh, get some more SEC in here. Old Miss and Auburn. I th- almost got that. I almost got that. But I don't but see this this is the deal with Auburn is that they, you know, Bo Nix is on some Johnny Menzel, throw out the ball. I'm gonna have everybody catch it. I'm gonna just run around circles. I'm gonna have, you know, just throw it up. That's what's going on in Auburn right now. Ole Miss is just clicking right now. And I don't really see them losing the rest of the year. But is Auburn is, you know, it's at Auburn. Is Auburn that threat? No. Ole Miss should just take that and just, you know, here, there you go. And then fish should be. They're already top 10 right now at 10. I believe it's better than that. I mean, it is what it is, you know, but 
Mm. Yeah, it is what it is. Now, here we go. Let's get some. Penn State, Ohio State. At Ohio State. This right here. Penn State has not been looking good last couple of games. Ohio State has been looking good last couple of games. I still don't believe in Ohio State's quarterback. I think he just got some easy schedule. This is the ultimate test right here. Do they go under? I think this could be an L for Ohio State. They still got the best wide receiver crew in the nation. Crystal Dave is just Woo, he's just unstoppable. I just, I mean, he's good. You know, I mean, he's, I don't know what you, he's good. But, but that game, I just, I'm looking at Penn State. I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm looking at, I'm looking at Penn State. I think Penn State has way more to prove than Ohio State. And depending on the Michigan, Michigan State game, Ohio State better watch out. They could be they could be this L in the Michigan's game. It's the L. Because that right now, if Michigan wins, Ohio State Michigan becomes the biggest game besides conference games, besides conference championship games this year. That's the game. It's going to be the game. It's going to decide everything. So that right there. I had I would have to say Penn State. I would ha- I would have to say Penn State. There's nothing else. I think Penn State they need to bounce. I think this is more way more important to Penn State than Ohio State because I don't know if Ohio State can take the sale. They can't take the sale, but Penn State needs this. No, yeah, Penn State need, definitely need this more than uh than Ohio State. Um. But so moving off that one, next one, very interesting that this is probably the last one on the college football on Saturday. That North Carolina Notre Dame game. It's at Notre Dame. Interesting enough, I believe North Carolina can actually beat Notre Dame. I know it's pretty crazy for me to say, but North Carolina has definitely not. Definitely has not been looking good last um uh, last they're just kind of wishy-washy. They're just kind of like they'll lose and win and lose and win. So they haven't really been like just nah, they just haven't been. But I think I you know I, I believe in Sam Howell. You know, I, I I know he's better than what he's putting on the field. I feel like the, the defense has to step it up a little bit just a little bit but you know that loss against Georgia Tech was I think that was kind of the the loss to go mm, you know Virginia Tech is like ah, okay first you know first game is what it is which I mean they still shouldn't there's no excuse they still, still shouldn't lost that game but the Georgia Tech game really hurt it was like Georgia Tech it beat them by like 30, 20 Three twenty-five or something like that, and so just that I think that's the game that kind of go well. You know, you lose your confidence on and stuff because it's it's George Tech. I mean, I don't think George Tech won a game in forty years, so it's just I don't yeah. But I I believe North Carolina got more to prove than uh than Notre Dame. I I still don't believe in I still don't believe in Notre Dame's uh that quarterback. Over there, I just I, – I don't know. I mean, he's uh, – I don't know. I, I don't – I don't – I'm just I'm, – I'm not I'm not feeling it. I don't – I'm trying to understand, like, what Notre Dame is still trying to do. I think it's just the lacks of what they had last year, kind of coming over from this year. I mean, I know they all lost, like, one game, but mm, – I think as I'm saying, they they might pull it off. They might pull it off. You never know. I mean, I go for yeah, let's go for North Carolina. We'll go for the underdogs in this game. You know, yeah, we're going. Yeah, we're going to go for the. 
we will go for the Nars because it'd be interesting. Notre Dame could win. I think North, I believe Notre Dame is trying to get that top ten. They have to look good before this whole selection. You know, before they do the real uh, selection of uh, for the uh, playoffs and everything. So when they do the selection show and all this other stuff, Notre Dame has to look good. Has to look good because their only loss is against uh, Cincinnati. You know, Cincinnati is. You know, I mean, it's one of the top four teams in the country. So I really I really believe they're trying to just look good and going, hey, look at us. We're not as bad as it seems. Although they've been blowing people out the last two times. But I believe this this could be that one game that just goes, hey, look at us. We beat North Carolina, which is, you know, they still have – people still look at North Carolina one thing to be what they was last year. And I – no, but Sam Howell is still a good quarterback. So I'm not, you know, I'm not going to put that uh, by him in any way. So, but let's just do Notre Dame on that one. We'll do, we'll do that. We'll do that Notre Dame. Uh, no, no, we're doing North Carolina on that one. Yeah, we're not doing Notre Dame. So we'll do North Carolina um, on that game. It's an awfully close game, but I, I, like I said, I believe they can, I, I believe they can pull it out. There's no reason that, there's no reason why they, they shouldn't. Right? Right? That's the reason why I should, right? Okay. So, that goes for the college uh, pickups for Saturday uh, right there. Uh, do may you please with that. Um, I just, I don't understand. I mean, I understand, you know, I can go on for another hour how boxers need to lose their, their college football privileges because they're not scheduling. I mean, it's, you know, Alabama's not playing, so you don't have to worry about any night, night games. Then the Georgia, Florida, I think it's mostly a night game. No, it's just uh, it's on CBS, so it's an afternoon game. So you really ain't got nothing to really worry about. Wait, I don't understand why this is the noontime game. This box is always just fucking up on that shit. They always put the biggest game at noontime. And they have this whole like thing of like, oh, the big noon game, this and this. I don't know if I give a fuck about that. Play that shit at night. You know what I'm saying? No matter what's a big time game. I would rather have, you know, I like these early, um, it's early noon, 11 o'clock games. I mean, I like those games. I don't like the big time games. I need that later on, but I don't know. It's just, for me, it don't, it don't make any sense. I just, I just don't understand. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I, you know, I don't understand they have the, the, you know, the NFL and everything, you know, but they got, they just got to get to the, get to get get that together because i don't understand even i mean the the big noontime game the whole the whole damn show is just trash anyway they just they just can't it just don't even look right i don't know what's going on fox they do they do great on the nfl i guess what they got the masters too they do great on everything else college football is like just a little like a little hobby little side hustle like yeah whatever our big thing is NFL. We're going to have that perfect. College football is like, yeah, it was the rice was there for the Big Ten. Yeah, we just fuck it. We don't care about that. So, all right, let's do all to the NFL right now. Jeez. You know, so week eight NFL. I would have to say right now, we could definitely say that Cincinnati is here to stay. I think Joe Burrow, <sighs> Joe Burrow has this guy. And I just think that they are, I mean, the defense is all right too. So is it isn't like they slacking on defense either. Cincinnati is a, I'm not gonna, is there a powerhouse? I don't know if I can say that now. They're for real, though. I would definitely say they're for real. Are they up there in the upper echelon full of teams? Mm, no, nah, but it's like two. I, I don't know because, they, I mean, the way they beat Baltimore, which Baltimore's on, well, it's no excuse, right? You want all the injuries and stuff, it's no excuse. They just they came in there and just did their job and left. That's it. All right, so let's see. All right, starting. We're doing Sunday only. I might do Monday, depending on how I feel. Okay. So, 
Falcons and Carolina. <sighs> Listen, I think Atlanta found their stride. Everybody's like, you know, Matt Ryan is this, Matt Ryan that. Only thing he needed to do at the beginning of the year, Cal Pitts was right there. If you see how he matches up on these safeties and these corners and stuff, and the, and the height difference is going on, you just throw that man a ball. It's Calvin Johnson. Just throw him a ball. What do you think? What are you doing? That's it. You know, everybody's kind of down on Ridley this year. I'm not, you know, you know, I just, I, I feel like he's a better receiver than what he's doing this year. And I know he's adjusting to having the number one uh, safety and corner on him, like, all the time. So that's an adjustment, but it's not an excuse. I'm just saying, but I think, I think it's, I think it's more, I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's a mental thing that his, is happening that he's not willing to catch or he don't want to, he's not willing to go at the middle and get hurt or get that big hit or something that I, I don't know what it is. But in the meantime, while he's figuring all that stuff out himself, you thought of the Cal Pitts, Merry Christmas. There you go right there. You should have been doing that first game. I don't understand. I know like a couple of, uh, it's been a couple of times he would get the ball and it'd be just amazing, but he should be at least the number, I ain't gonna say number one. He fucking be number one. Until Calvin gets himself together, he's gotta be number one. He's gotta be that person. I mean, it's, it's come on now. It's, it's just ridiculous right now. You know, if they use Cal Pitts, they win and they could go far. Defense garbage is hell. Defense garbage is hell. But offense got to do their thing. You know, the run defense is all right. I'll say that. But the, the fucking safeties are just, whoo, that secondary is <laughs> trash out of us. Jeez. Man, I know I, you know, I could probably throw about 500 yards on Atlanta. Them fucking safeties back there. So, um, Miami and Buffalo. Yo, I, yo, look, Tua is getting it. You know, I know he's got this whole tray with Deshaun Watson in his back of his head, this and this. But, yo, Tua is good. He's good. Okay? I don't know why people are down on him like crazy. You know? He's good. You know, I mean, he has, like, he used to have these throw-up moments, this and this, but I think he really finding his stride right now. At the beginning of the year, I was like, man, come on, Tua, what are, you, what are you doing? You know, I was like, man, come on, what are you doing? I was having these doubts. I was like, oh, my gosh, like, what are you doing? Just just, just do what you do. And I believe he is. Can he be Buffalo? I believe he can be Buffalo. Yes. Yes. I believe he can be Buffalo. You know, I think the problem is that and Waddle's coming in place too. So once that tool Waddle connection comes back into play, I don't want to say they're a dangerous team, but I don't know. I think just that whole Deshaun Watson in the background is this. Miami's already committed to Deshaun Watson. Would I have Deshaun Watson over Tua? I'm not answering that right now. Fuck it. No, I'm not answering that right now. So we're gonna move on. I believe Miami can take that. I believe Buffalo. I don't know. They're they're a solid team. I believe when it comes to games like this, they kind of slack off a little bit. I'm not saying like Tennessee is not like ain't no good. Tennessee's a really good team. I think if you pressure, which you, I mean, I don't think Miami got no, no pressure on the team. I don't believe. You know, maybe pressure Josh Allen. If you don't give Josh Allen time, I think you can you can definitely uh, win that game. I think Miami can go up there and, and uh, win the game. Yeah, let's just fuck it. You know what I'm saying? We'll put my money on Miami? No. no, no, no. Maybe a dollar? No. So San Francisco and Chicago, Justin Fields is not looking the best right now. He's not. Man, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it for him. You know? Um, could he just snap out of it? I, and look, I believe he can. I just, I don't, I don't know. It's just, I think you just put you just can't be thrown in an environment like that and then start to perform 
like he's supposed to perform. I believe that. But it's funny because, I mean, <laughs> y'all wanted him in there, right? First time you wanted Andy Dalton wasn't the man. You know, y'all was calling for Justin Fields game one. This is what happens. Oh, my gosh. In Chicago, San Francisco comes in. I think San Francisco banged up right now. And I'm going to take Chicago. Yeah, let's roll. I think Justin, look, I think Justin Field has this moment in this game. It, you have to have a certain time that you just wake up and you just do what you got to do. <laughs> I believe this moment right now. If he gets blown up by 50, listen, it is what it is. He gets blown up by 50. So I, I, I still, I still like just, I still like Justin Fields. I, I believe that he can be a really good quarterback. I think he has to get his mind together that he can. I think once he just kind of just those little, little pass, little passes, okay, down and then, just don't, don't, don't feel like that you have to just kind of do everything yourself. I mean, you're not at Ohio State. You know, you have people that's right there and ready to go. So let's go with Chicago. Let's go. Let's root for Justin Fields. <sighs> San Francisco could blow him out on 50, though. I'm just, you know, I just want to put that out there. Uh, Pittsburgh and Cleveland. It's Pittsburgh all day. I think, <laughs> listen, after the whole Mike Tomlin situation with USC, I think the team is fired up. Ben might run for three yards this game. He, I don't believe he's going to be a complete statue in this game, but um, I really believe that uh, he's definitely um, uh, definitely the um, the one to pick in this. So I definitely had to do uh, uh, Ben uh, in this one. So I, so yeah, I definitely had to do uh, uh, Ben in this game. Um, Philly and uh, Philly and Detroit. Look, I um, I really believe in. I want Jalen Hurts to do good, right? I really want uh, I really want Jalen Hurts to do good in the league. Period. I don't think Philly just. I think they got a lot more. I just. They, the team don't have it together. The team don't have it together. And woo, Detroit, Detroit might get this win. Detroit might get this win. You know? And um, yeah. Are, are we going to say that they get their first win this week? I believe so. I believe so. I believe so. Does this does this carry on to all season? No, no. I think Philly is just that vulnerable that Detroit can definitely get their get their win. I don't know if it'd be a first win, but it'd be a one. Yeah, it'd be a first win. And so, um, are we going with Detroit? Are we serious about this? Yeah, let's do it. Jared Goff is not the guy, so you can he can you know he'd be a backup next year somewhere, but. If, if any if any time they need to win, it'll be right now. So, all right, let's go to Detroit. Let's do that. Let's just commit to it. Effort. Let's go. Tennessee, Indianapolis. Now, this is interesting because can we just say Carson Wentz is having a year that nobody's talking about? We could probably say that. You know, he's still built of glass. So, it's just, I think it's more of a matter of time of when, um, when he goes down, you know, but he's looking, he's looking pretty steady, looking pretty strong right now. Um, can he beat Tennessee? Can he beat Derrick Henry? Can that team stop Derrick Henry? No. So we're going to put Tennessee. It just is what it is because you can't stop Derrick Henry. He is on to break a single season rushing record. Hmm. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's just mm. they can't they can't Derrick Henry's just he's on one right now. So yeah, we're going Tennessee on that one all day. It's not not even they can't stop him. So so we got Cincinnati, 
Uh, New York Jets, we're going to say Cincinnati, of course. Um, I think I think Zach Wilson's maybe out this game. <laughs> Joe Flacco's in. Yeah, this is yeah, this Cincinnati. It's, it's no, you know, they're the team. I want to look at a couple weeks from now to see where Cincinnati is at playing wise to make a really strong decision on moving forward with Cincinnati and anything. So it's going to be we have a sense that we don't waste no time with this. Uh, Los Angeles and Houston, it's going to be Rams, of course. Matt Stafford is looking like like he's ready to win this whole thing. He's on a good team. He's having fun. And like I said before, a couple weeks ago, Matt Ryan has really got a lot off his back because when he was in Detroit, he had to do everything. He knew that the defense wasn't going to do anything. So he had to just go for four, 500 yards a game. Had to. Had to score all these touchdowns, all this other stuff. He had to do this. Now he don't have to do it. He's enjoying it. It doesn't, he doesn't have that whole pressure on him, this, this, Rams all day. Houston still trying to figure out what's going on. I think Tyrod Taylor starts this game. So, salute to Tyrod Taylor for starting the game. Too bad you got to take an L, but it is what it is. Now, New England and Los Angeles. Chargers. Okay, let's get this straight right here. Herbert is the new face in the NFL. Matt Jones in there too. I believe Matt Jones has woken up. I think it's a Dallas game. He's woken up. Can he beat the Los Angeles Chargers in Los Angeles? That is going to be a hard, hard task to do. I believe he can do it. I think um, Damian Harris is finding his, his stride and everything. But I think the real important guy in this whole thing of the Patriots has to be um, the any anybody in the wide receiver core. Anybody anybody in that uh in that wide receiver core. Because what's what's happening really is that they're not step I don't believe that I just don't believe they're stepping up. You know? And I thought Jacoby Myers was gonna be like their number one. And I know he is, but I just don't I don't I don't like what he's. I, I guess I just don't like what he's. Uh, what he's doing, and everything. But Jacoby Myers, I think he has to. He has to catch. He has to catch a couple more. I would definitely say that. Uh, Jaguars in uh, Seattle. The Seahawks. Ah, I think Trevor Lawrence gets his. I get. I guess he gets his second win. Seahawks is Geno Smith is not where it's at right now. And, you know, I'm going to see how this game goes because next Wednesday, when we come out with the other show, I have, I just want to see how this game goes first. I don't want to say that now, but I got to see how this game goes because I, I'm looking at stuff and I'm, I've got a lot on my mind with uh, Seattle. Maybe people will know about what I'm going to say, but it's, it's Jaguars. Trevor Lawrence got his second win. Congratulations. Urban, Mar- Urban Meyer is definitely partying in that game. <laughs> Urban Meyer, coach of the year. Ooh. Yeah. Washington and Broncos. This is this is really interesting. I think Washington can get this. Uh, I think, you know, I you know, I like Teddy and everything. Teddy's having a phenomenal year this year, but it hasn't like Washington can just sneak up, you know, and I think it's a problem that I think the weather is going to have to really deal with this. Um, I don't believe Teddy is good in good in like really rainy weather. So I think that's where it goes. I think it's where it breaks down at. I believe it's going to rain. Forecast, I believe it does with rain on Sunday. Uh, just for that, I'm just going to have to say Washington. I think. I know. I believe that. I believe Washington. They can hold off in the rain. I think Taylor Heineke is a better quarterback in the rain than Teddy Bridgewater. It'd be upset. What do they got to lose? It'd be an upset. I thought Teddy, listen, I wanted Teddy to really do well. I wonder if it's time to move on, like, Brad Chubbs or anything for Broncos. I don't know. 
Uh, for uh, another discussion. But I got Washington on that game. Buccaneers and Saints. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if James Winston goes off and just throws 500 yards, 10 touchdowns. I would not be, I would not be surprised at all. Can the, Buccane- can the Buccaneers lose this game? <sighs> Mark Ingram's back at the Saints now. They made that trade. I don't know what's going on with Texans. I think um, that's, that's, another, that's another discussion for another day. I got Saints in this one. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Buccaneers just come through and uh, do their thing. But I think with Jameis Winston and then – I gotta see. I gotta see when uh, Michael Thomas comes back. He's not gonna be back for this game, but I think it's November. It's coming up. You know, I think Callaway has to step it up. Number one, he has to be that number one receiver on the team. You know, because how Sean Payton, Sean Payton is running Kamara is that he's trying to save him for the playoffs. So the less he gets, the better the team is. And I think that's why. Mark, and when marking was, uh, was available, let's run Mark. F it. We'll just, just keep Camara healthy. You know, hey, he'll just, just let him do his thing, whatever. But and James Winston, he's, he's, hey, he's finding his way over there. You know? <laughs> you know? So, that's, you know, it hates me to say this. I will have to say the Saints on this one. <sighs> uh, but if, if they can shut down Tom in the fourth quarter, we'd be good. Could they? Yes, I think they could. I think that that defense is swarming. I think the Saints get. I think the defense don't get talked about enough for that game. Yeah, it's just Saints. It, let's just, okay, let's just Saints. That'd be all right. Let's do that one. Uh, Cowboys and Vikings. Ooh. That's the Sunday night game right there. Cowboys is on fire right now. Um, Michael Parsons has been stopping everybody. You know. But let's be real for a second. They haven't really played nobody. You know, Chargers in Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay was the hardest game. Chargers was next to hardest. Okay. Let's just say this. I'm not going to say this has been, this is the toughest game of the schedule for the last four games. Now, this is what it is. Does we, you know, do I think, do I think the Cowboys going to lose? I think Minnesota can beat him. Yes, one hundred percent. If if Cook is is starting, hope bound. Hopefully, you know he don't have no injuries or anything. Which I mean, they have been like, look, it's gonna be Diggs against uh, Jefferson. You know, I would I would say, let me. I would say that Diggs. I think the interception thing. I'm not gonna say completely stops. I don't believe he would have one in this game. I'm gonna just put it out there. I don't think he's gonna have one. I believe Minnesota could come through and beat the Cowboys. Minnesota is not a bad team. I think they just have just like bad outcomes. You know, I think they're three and three right now. I mean, so you know, but they've been playing some, but the. I mean, but they've been playing some top teams, though. You know? They expect to lose these, these games, you know? But will they beat the Cowboys? Yeah, we're going to say that. We're definitely going to say that. So, Minnesota that night. And so, the Monday night game is Kansas City, New York. <sighs> Kansas City has not been looking great at all. And it's at Kansas City. I, I am not... I've, I've said... Defense is not looking great. The running game is not looking great. Patrick Mahomes, you know, I believe in Patrick Mahomes. I believe in Andy Reid. 
I don't believe in the defense. I don't believe in the run game. I believe that's where the problem is. The defense is just too bad. It's 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 too bad. So Kansas City definitely cannot beat the Giants. I think the Giants. I I believe Daniel Jones is a better quarterback than what people think that it is. I think because he's just in New York, they don't really have a good squad. Most most of his, I mean, I think all of his. I mean, his top receivers are hurt over there. Shaquan Barkley, I can't. I'm not gonna make. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm wait to the next show. I'm not gonna be the one to say it. I don't. I, I haven't seen anything from him. But Daniel Jones, I believe, can pull this. Can pull this win off against Kansas City. Now, could Patrick Mahomes come through? Uh, all Madden, Patrick Mahomes. Yes, one hundred percent. I just don't think. I, I think I think Kansas City just got to reevaluate what they did and who they can sign, especially on defense and everything. I thought the line, what they drafted with the, with with the line for Patrick Mahomes is going to be good, but man, he is just he's just off. He's just having an off year, you know. And like I said, I believe I believe. And I believe Patrick. So with that, I'm just like, um, yeah, just New York. But isn't that crazy for me to say, though? It is, though. I don't think it's crazy for me to say that New York will win. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go for New York, though. So uh, Raiders in uh, Baltimore, they both got a bye week this week. So we still got a slew of games going on this week. But Mm. Yeah, I just I'm looking at New York and you know I, I guess Dallas. I mean Dallas gonna win that division, but like I said, New York is just they're not such a bad team. You know they're not too bad. You know, but it's just they got a tough schedule. You know, and then it's just everything just happening over there. It's just not happening, and I, and then. If I'm not mistaken, I think I think Daniel Jones has some. I think he's the he's the passing leader, and I think he's the he might be the rushing leader also. Uh, he's running that ball. He's running that ball. He's. I want to. I, I want to say. I hope I had to look this up. He might have more rushing yards than Lamar Jackson. That would be crazy for the year. That'd be crazy for the year for me to say. I think that's true, though. Yeah, I think that's I think that's true. If I can look at that up real quick, because um, no, you don't. Okay, no, you don't. Yeah, no, he ain't he got it. He's twenty. He's twenty yards off though, but which is which is still crazy, because he can just break for whatever. But yeah, no, he don't though. But okay, so that's the um, so that's the NFL. I got the NFL picks going on right now. Uh, college picks, everything's up right now. Look, um, I enjoyed it. You know, I think with the, with the NFL, NFL's running strong this year. Strong this year. It has to be the integration of the crowd everything. Look, NFL is on another level than anything else we're seeing, you know, this year. So, but, you know, with that and all, look, I'm going to have to sign off. Um, uh, we're doing two. Uh, we're gonna start two two episodes. We're gonna do two episodes a week. The prediction show is like every Friday right now, and then regular schedule show is gonna be. We're gonna try to get that every Wednesday. So, but hey, look, look, it's been fun. Gotta holla, peace. <laughs>